Hi, I'm Steve Troy, the CEO and founder of Aerofund Financial, and welcome to the Aerofund Business History Minute. At the end of the 19th century, major wealth was accumulated and spent by the Morgans, the Astors, the Goulds, the Vanderbilts, and others. These families controlled and manipulated the wealth of an entire country. One name almost absent from everyone's list was Hetty Green. Hetty was well known by her male peers. She was known as the Witch of Wall Street. In the 1860s, Hetty's father had sold the family whaling business for millions shortly after the first oil well was discovered. He must have realized that whale oil would soon be replaced by crude pumped from the ground. Hetty was a woman who dared to play an all-male game. By the time of her death, her financial cunning had turned her $1 million inheritance into a $100 million fortune. Hetty loaned money to cities, controlled railroads, outwitted the robber barons, and bought up real estate during financial panics. Hetty was different than other famous families of the Gilded Age. A Quaker, Hetty was a miserly woman who found enjoyment making and, spent and saving money, not spending it. She wore her plain black dresses and frocks until they wore out and used her carriages until they fell apart. To keep the tax man at bay, she rented small apartments for short periods so as to never establish residency in any one city. National City Bank even provided her with a desk in their main branch to use as her office because she refused to pay rent. So miserly, she once brought her only son Ned to a free clinic for a broken leg, a leg he would eventually lose due to poor treatment. She herself suffered a pain due to a hernia because she refused to spend $150 it cost for an operation. Upon Hetty's death, Ned's inheritance allowed him to live the lifestyle of the rich, but even Ned's spendthrift ways couldn't deplete Hetty's large legacy. Upon Ned's death, Hetty's $100 million passed to Ned's sister Sylvia. On her passing in 1951, Hetty's $100 million couldn't dodge the tax ban any longer. After paying $50 million in taxes, the balance of Hetty's fortune was left to 64 random charities, thus closing the final chapter in the life of the richest woman of the 19th century. If you know someone who could benefit from Aerofund Financial's accounts to services, take a minute and give us a call.